Hello everyone, this is Sharon and today I wanted to share a video with you sharing the color challenge that Lindy Stamp Gang has going on for the month of October and I'm going to share obviously my inspiration project for that. If you don't know, Lindy Stamp Gang every month hosts a color challenge and at the beginning of the month um, the designers post their inspiration pieces using the color challenge image and um, also give you suggestions of what colors you could use for your own projects to get the same color combo. So for this month's color challenge, the colors, um, you could see them on the screen. That's the inspiration picture. And in the project that I made, I used um, Lindy Stamp Gang's Flat Fabio in the Tears of My Pillow Tangerine. And this is a stain with no shimmer on it. So flat Fabios, that's what that means. They're flat, they have no shimmer. I also use the Luscious Lime, which is also a flat Fabio. I also used a the Wicked Witch Purple, which is also a flat Fabio. And it's just the perfect color for this challenge. I used some embossing powders as well. I used one of the new embossing powders. This is the um, Ghostly Goblin Green. Really pretty. Bright green. I also used um, Terracotta Plum, which is this um, kind of like light orangey with like a bluish purplish um, iridescence to it. I used also the Imperial Crown Purple Gold, which is this gorgeous embossing powder. And I also used some of the new glitters available at Lindy Stamp Gang. I used the color Petrified, which is this nice, fine, um, I, well, I'm going to say like crystal holographic glitter. And then I used the color Purple Rain which is beautiful. So I used these two. So those were the products that I used for my card that I made and this is it right here. The first thing I did was I took some watercolor paper and I embossed it with a um, what do you call it? A wood grain embossing folder from um, Tim Holtz. Then after that I took the Luscious Lime um, Flat Fabio and I sprayed it all over the card to get this bright green color in the background. And then, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Let me just zoom in just a little bit. But in the raised areas of the embossing, can you tell the little iridescence? That's because I used the Ghostly Goblin Green, this embossing powder, just on the tops of the embossing. Just to add a little bit more to that texture that you see right there. So I hope you're able to tell when I move the paper. I only did it on the raised areas, the embossing. Then after that, I took another piece of uh, watercolor paper and I sprayed using this color right here, which is the Wicked Witch's Purple. And also a little bit of this um, Tears on My Pillow Tangerine. And I'm, you're not going to be able to see the orange too, too much because it's in the back. And I sprayed it very lightly. But it's in the back. And I just wanted it to drip over um, to have some sort of different texture in the background. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm not focused right there. And then on top of the wet purple, I added some of the Imperial Crown Purple Gold Embossing um, Powder just to have that bubbling texture in the top and if you could see I started it from down here there's still some of the spray in here and then this is where the embossing powder comes in right there so I embossed that just for more texture then I took this out I don't know if you could see it in the embossing right there like the purplish bluish tinge to it and it's because I took this Studio G um, dollar stamp this owl right here and stamped it using VersaFine ink in black and then on top of that I added the terracotta plum embossing powder and I knew that by 
um, overlaying the embossing powder on top of the black. It wasn't going to look orange, but it was but it was going to give me that bluish, purplish tinge to it. So I did that because I still wanted the owl to be black, but I wanted some extra dimension to the color, and that's what I did. And I, you'd, you've seen my projects. You know that I like to do that. I like to stamp black underneath and then put a different color embossing powder on the top just to ha give it a little bit more interest. Then, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I mean, maybe if I zoom in just a little bit more. You could see in the eyes right there, I took the glitter right here in um, Petrify, that's the color, and then added some fine glitter right there. And then I also took um, the other glitter, which is the Purple Rain, right here, and I added it to certain parts of the owl, but just a little bit, just for a little touch of um, shine right there. So there you go. Then after that, I just added a little bit of some of the little sprays that I have around here um, in my stash. Then I added some orange ribbon just to get more of that orange to pop out. Added some rhinestones in there. Added this woohoo sentiment that is from a close to my heart stamp set um, that Jill gave me. Hi, Jill. And um, I added, I just put it in a banner which I cut freehand. And then I just added a few little black pearls just to add little accents to the card and a little bit more interest. And that is what the card looks like. I hope you liked it. I did a lot of different things on this card and it's nice and simple. Um, and I love how it came out though. It was super fun and my favorite, my favorite part is how the owl looks in the, in the light. Can you see it? It's so awesome, the iridescence with the black. I just love it. So it's just something fun to try. So I'm going to have pictures at the end of the video. I'm going to link all the products that I used on my blog. You could have, the link is going to be down below so you can go over there and check them out. Um, I'll also have links to the Lindy Stamp Gang store where you can find all these products. I Again, I'll be linking them directly on my blog. Also check out the Lindy Stamp Gang blog so you can um, see what the other designers came up with as well. And also make sure that you participate in the color challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.